The first step is going to be building the base. And for that, we're going to need two bunches of 10 diapers each, two rubber bands, number 33, an old paper roll. The paper roll comes from this um, roll of paper that we use in the kitchen. We're gonna work with the first bunch of diapers. There are 10 diapers. And what we are gonna make is a wheel. And to do that, all we have to do is what you're seeing me doing. Putting the diapers one on top of the other. Since there are only 10, this is pretty simple. I could even do it just with my hands. Very, very easy. And just pass this like this. But what I'm gonna do, because maybe there are some um, people that are watching this video that haven't done a wheel before. So for them, I'm gonna show you an easier way to do it. And it's like that. You just put your diapers inside of a bowl. The bowl doesn't have to be exactly this size. This one is 20, oh, seven inches in diameter but it doesn't have to be exactly that it could be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller a little bit bigger will be even easier to make the wheel but there we go we have that and what we want now is to make sure that we create a hole in the middle right in the middle so we can place the paper roll just like this and then we just put the little rubber band around the diapers to secure them and that's what i'm doing okay bringing down the rubber band so it's in the middle of the diapers so when I get it out it doesn't come off that's it we're gonna make the other wheel we are going to put the second wheel on top of the first just like that mark with a pencil or a pen right here just want to make sure that you can see just like this we want to make sure that the roll is touching the bottom okay so it's touching this part here so we want to mark all around then we are going to cut right here. For that, I am going to take it out. Now that it's already marked, and then I'm going to cut. I am going to use this cutter because it's very easy for me just to do that. And that's it. All done. We put it back inside of the wheels. And that's what we should have. I am going to be using this tissue paper to cover the two wheels and I have two tissue papers here. This is the front of it and this is the back but because I don't want too much shine in the base I am going to use this side so this is the side that is going to be shown. So I made it double. meaning there are two pieces of tissue paper here and put it in the middle and what we are going to do is basically this just like that
We are going to use a third piece of tissue paper because we need to cover this piece, which is styrofoam, that we are gonna be using to put it right on top of the two wheels, which is the base of our project. I am attaching the styrofoam piece to the base with the double-sided tape. Let's place some pieces of double-sided tape all around the base so we can attach another tissue paper to it. This is one sheet of tissue paper folded into of the same color than before. We want to close this gap as seamless as possible. There are 30 diapers here, 10, 10, and 10. So what we are gonna do now is that with these little rubber bands, these are hair rubber bands, we are going to get a few out. Do you see where it has the number that goes inside? And also the open area, that's where you're gonna start. And then, we're gonna roll tight, very tight, like a little tackle, okay? And then we are going to secure our diaper with a rubber band, but we are gonna double it like this. And now we're gonna do all 30 of them.
Let's set aside the diapers for now. And in the next step, we are going to work with skewers, 15 of eight inches and 15 of 10 inches. Do not insert the pointed tip inside of the diaper. Make sure to leave the pointed tip outside like this. We don't want the skewers to be seen from the top. The pointed end goes at the bottom. Now let's make the rest of the diaper flowers. Let's set aside. For the next step, we will be working with tool skewers, 10 of 8 inches and 10 of 10 inches, and hair bands, 20 of them. To create flower tools, we're going to take the whole width of the tool by about 4.5 inches in height and bunch it together, as you see. Then place the skewer in the center making sure that the doll side is facing up and cover. As you see, the doll tip of the tool is close to the middle. Then tie the hairband around both the skewer and the tool, just like this. I went seven times around it just to make sure that they were secured. After the flower is secured, then what we are going to use is a pair of scissors to cut the tool. Your flower should be about four and a half inches tall in total. Let's set aside and continue. Here we have two different colors of tissue papers, one in light pink and the other one in light yellow. We also have 10 skewers of eight inches in length and 10 skewers of 10 inches in length. Although I ended up using instead 30 skewers of eight inches and 34 skewers of 10 inches, in total 64 skewers. Plus, we're going to need 20 hair bands. We're going to make these beautiful paper flowers. It's so simple. We take one sheet of tissue paper, fold it in four, Now I am going to use this ruler. You can also use this type of rulers. They usually have one side with them. I don't know if you can see with that little metal part there that helps you to cut paper. So I'm gonna use this one though because I prefer this one. But the way it goes is like that. See how simple? And then to cut the other two parts, we're just gonna do the same. Put it in the middle and like that. 
I'm holding the paper and then starting the process. Just small taps. There you go. Now that we have this, let's see. The size of the squares are about nine and a half inches by almost 10 inches, which is in centimeters, 24 and a half centimeters by 25 and a half centimeters. You don't have to be exact, really, it doesn't matter. A little bit more, a little bit less is fine. So what we do is that we pinch the middle or the center of our paper like this. And then we just take this hand, the left hand or the right one, whichever one you want to do things with. And you go like this and then go up. You can, you know, as you see, I kind of like go from this finger to this finger to give it some leeway. And that's it. And I hold here, which is about one and three quarters of an inch or five centimeters. Take one of my skewers, put it in the middle, Twist the bottom of the flower like this. Once done, take one of the hair bands and pass it through like this. Twist and go over it. Twist again, go over it. Twist again, go over it. And you're gonna do this as much as you can, but do not break it. I think that will be enough there. And I like how it looks. My flower looks pretty cute. And that's how we do this. Now I am gonna do the rest of the flowers in different colors. And I'll see you in a minute. I made more flowers in other colors, but ended up not using them. Now we are going to take our base and we are going to put it here so we can start working with our materials. The longer flowers with the 10 inches skewers, I will use for the center of the base. The shorter flowers with the 8 inches skewers, I will use for the borders of the base.
Let's put these flowers on the side. And what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna continue placing the paper flowers in different spots in our bouquet of flowers. And when I'm done, I'm gonna show you how everything looks. I inserted some of the hot pink flowers, but I didn't like um, how they look with the rest of the colors and I decided not to use them. So I took them out. We are all set placing the paper flowers and the tool and the diapers. And this is what we got. Now let's concentrate on the bottom here and the base. We're gonna cover the base with the, with the silicone. Let's secure the cellophane to the base with some gift ribbon. I like this green color to tie everything up. With the double-sided tape, we will place some pieces of the tape around the cellophane and press it onto some of the flowers to keep the cellophane up. 